All right, now we got the September's comic block. And lately, the comic blocks have actually been really nice lately. So let's actually see how it's gone this month. And it's Kroger to relax and more calm. So let's start with the T-shirt. Oh, you want some attention now, huh? Don't mind the bed sheet. I'm actually going to have to pull out the winter one. But, uh, that's the Saga T-shirt before the cat sits on it. <laughs> But, um, I'm not really feeling the design of the t-shirt, you know, that's something I wouldn't wear, you know, so I'm definitely going to give that to my friend. Mm -hmm. Give you some attention before you start messing with me. Let's see what we got here. We've got a green lantern ring. I've already opened it up. I kind of got excited when I saw this, so I was <laughs> like, I got a, a rocket. And of course, when I pulled it out, I thought I broke, uh, you know, maybe I broke it or it came broken. I couldn't understand it. You know, there's a little piece here, but you couldn't press into it. So it's like a, an item that's not really that good. You know, I was wearing it. And, you know, you want to press down into it or, you know, squeeze it hard enough and, and it lights up. But no, there's a little switch that's inside. It's not on the outside. It's just, it's broke. I hope it doesn't come like that, you know, but um, let's go ahead and use a little sharp item, squeeze that button, and there it lights up. And dang is, I would have walked around everywhere with this ring. <laughs> I wouldn't care what people thought. And it's broken, so I can't even rock it. So that's pretty sad, but the light stays on for a little while, you know. But who wants to actually get something out just to hit the button you know i've actually opened this thing up see if i can maybe push the button uh through the hole or whatever and it can't it's in placement on the circuit board right there the little uh small board so that's a damn shame off bat first comic we have is deadpool versus uh danos or tanus or I've heard it different ways, you know, pronounced, you know. But, uh, it looks pretty cool. I definitely like the cover. I'm trying to be a little bit careful pulling this little comic out. Got a Mad Max Fury Road, Part 1, Vertigo. That's nice. You know, at first I was kind of um, bummed, you know, said Nerdbox puts their logo down on the comic, but um, some some things do that like that. If you remember back then, uh, Wizard used to just put their logo down there too, you know. Some of that's kind of valuable now. And I've actually been waiting for this. Danger Girl number one, IDW Beyond these comics. And the one thing that I was kind of bumped out is it's a different artist. I was expecting, wow, uh, what's his name, Steve Campbell, to uh, replace the, the drawing itself. I don't know, it's weird, you know. I mean, it's still a, a good artist, you know, saying who drew it out, but... You know, if you've seen Steve Campbell, he is on it when it comes to, like, you know, the, the looks. You know, if you want to do something sexy, something cute, something, you know, playful. And this is, I don't know. It's, it's still nice, you know. I ain't going to put it down, but I was expecting, you know, maybe uh, the reprise, you know, of the original. I, um, you know, I got a, the original Danger Girl issue one uh, comic, you know. So, to have the original and saying, uh, you know, the reprise and... It's closed off, so I can't read or anything, you know. So, but and then it's closed. I'm not gonna open it, you know. It's not like one of these um open. But that just means it could go up later on. Who knows? And here's Mirror's Edge. I was kind of waiting to see how this one would come out too. It's also closed, so <laughs> I can't look through it. But that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. It just, you know, makes me want to keep, you know, the good things. Um, my original Danger Girl issue one on that I got to put away. 
that's still in good condition, you know. I, I back then I couldn't buy much things, you know. I didn't have much money, so um, my friend we uh, he used to get one of these little brochures with comics in it, and they were overpriced, let me tell you. But I mean, I saved up. I was able to buy two things. I bought the Danger Girl, and I went ahead and I bought the um, Resident Evil, the big comic. And of course, the big comic somehow got bended. You know, it wasn't my fault back then. We we had a dog, and the dog bended the cover. You know, because uh, he wanted to get into all kinds of things. So I was kind of bummed out. Told myself I can always rebuy another one. They ain't too expensive, you know, online. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. Four comics, a Green Lantern ring, a T-shirt. They were on it this month. You see, uh, it's three comics, you know, but they were on it. They had some real good comics, you know. And last month's were pretty good too. Like I say the comic block, I'm real impressed with, you know. And of course, Nerd Block is having a new box, a sci-fi box. And you know what I'm saying? I, I gotta support my habit. <laughs> I enjoy these themed boxes, you know. Um, you know, I'm a disabled veteran, you know, I, I don't get mail or nothing, you know. Um, I'm real cut down on my friends lately, you know. Um, there's too much, you know, fake friends out there, so I cut it down. So I look forward to things in the mail, you know. And uh, that'll be November when the first one comes out, so I'll definitely get it. I'm pretty sure they're going to have like some uh, Doctor Strange, some Doctor Who, or um, I'm you know saying the usual Star Wars, you know. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be Doctor Who and uh, Star Wars is going to be the first two items off the bat. So let's go ahead and end this video so I can go ahead and jump on with the horror block. You want to play with things, don't you?